Hey up guys, hope everyone's well. I want ladies as well, don't forget the ladies, I'm sure there's plenty of women out there that are doing this job. Um, as the intro says, this is just me explaining what you may, or you will need, should I say, for cutting concrete. Now, depending on what you are doing, so whether you're doing it as a one-off, um, or you want to do this as a business, um, something that you're going to need when you're using uh, concrete products. Because, like we've said before, when you come to a fence, it's uh, very often that you'll get half a panel, three quarters of a panel, or just you need to chop a couple of inches off the gravel board. Um, so here is what I've used for the last four to five years, which is a nine inch grinder. It's very inexpensive um, and it's lasted quite a while actually. Um, normally they don't last that long tools for me anyway. Um, but with the nine inch grinder, you'll need a diamond blade there is hessian blades that you can cut concrete, but they just wear down far too quick. So it's cost effective wise, it's better to buy a good blade first. Um, so plus sides, very nice and light. Um, pretty much anyone can use it. Downside is you need electric. Now, if you're doing this as a one-off, you're most likely gonna have electric anyway, um, or someone's gonna be in. If you're doing this as a business, not every time or not everyone can be in or leave electric out for you so then you have to take a generator with you which is then extra expense to buy or hire or service um, so if you are you are doing this as for a business and i would always suggest go into a petrol powered saw i mean to get into it obviously go for the grinder um, but as you see in the intro, that was my Husqvarna K760 cut in the post. Um, plus side to them, they are really quick at cutting concrete. You don't have to worry about customers being there. You don't have to worry about cutting through like cables or anything like that. But then they are heavier. Um, they are a little bit unwieldy if you're not quite used to using them when that blade spins it does create its own wobble, so you need to be pretty firm with it. Um, but then you can go anywhere with it. You know, it's petrol. Um, you have to service them, unfortunately, and I would suggest at least once a month cleaning the filters out. Now, this one's got a pre-filter and a powdered filter, so once a month, just quickly whip them off, get a uh, compressor. That'll be the one. Compressor just to blow it out. Um, and that will keep it running sweet. I never liked using water with them, just purely for the fact that water and the dust makes it turn to concrete almost in the filters, so I will always run mine dry. So they are two things you can use for cutting concrete. I will say when you are dealing with fencing, in the middle of the concrete, if you look at the intro, once I've chopped it, there are four reinforced steel. Now they are, I think they're, they're either reinforced or hardened steel and they do chew your blades up quite a lot. So I would personally not invest in a really expensive blade because it would just get trashed. Even in the gravel boards, there's some reinforcement as well. So just bear that in mind. And when you are cutting, always wear safety gear because I've had a few chips in the eyes and it's not nice. So there we go. Just a real quick one from me because it's, I'm not managing to get these done, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, that's it. So there's two things you need, a grinder or a chop saw, and you'll be able to get away, you'll be able to do any fencing or any concrete fencing. So I'll bid you farewell, and I'll catch you on the next one.